back to RNP and Tutors USA. So we're continuing our videos on pediatrics and we're continuing with the congenital cardiac defects. So this video, we're gonna talk about coarctation of the aorta. Coarctation of the aorta is acyanotic. One tip to remember is that if the cardiac defect is acyanotic, it will not start with the letter T. However, if it's a cyanotic defect, it's gonna start with the letter T, like tetralogy of fallow. But we're not there yet, but just a tip for you to remember how to differentiate. As you know, the aorta, or the portion of the aorta that we're talking about, is at the top of the heart and kind of makes an arch over the heart. And so a portion of the arch is considered ascending and a portion is descending. At the descending area, we have a narrowing, and that's what we're referring to as the coarctation of the aorta. Now, the function of the aorta is to bring oxygen-rich blood out of the heart. Now, what happens is because of the narrowing, the areas that the aorta serves before we get to the narrowing, they get higher blood flow than the areas that are served below the narrowing, especially because the narrowing is a descending aorta. And so what happens is in this baby or in this child, we will see that the upper uh, uh, pulses, um, blood pressures are higher. Uh, for example, they'll have diminished pulses in the lower extremities. They could have absent pedal pulses that have cooler lower extremities, for example. This one again is an acyanotic congenital cardiac defect. And again, what we mean by acyanotic is that the blood shunts from the left side of the heart um, to the right side usually. Or another way to think about um, acyanotic cardiac defects is that they do not produce a cyanotic child. They will still have possibly breathing difficulty or fatigue, uh, um, you know, changes in the vital signs as we're talking about different pressures, but they will still not be blue babies. And so some conditions are considered cyanotic. They categorize them based on how the symptoms present, whether or not it's a cyanotic baby, it's a cyanotic defect, or whether or not the child is acyanotic in that they have some problems, but they're not blue. So again, coarctation of the aorta. So we have higher pressures uh, before the coarctation or the narrowing and lower pressures below. So how is this treated? What they can do is remove a portion of another uh, vessel and use that to patch or widen the coarctation of the aorta. And that will cause um, more adequate blood flow to all of the um, you know, areas that are served. Remember that whenever there is that surgical treatment, we take care of the patient. They're going to have um, diminished function to the left arm usually. So we do no blood draws, we do no IVs on the left arm. And then of course, there is medical management. We can think of things like diuretics, we can think of things like digoxin. Uh, but again, no blood pressure, no phlebotomy, uh, nothing to the left arm. Think of it like uh, care of the patient who's had mastectomy, because you know, of course, we don't do much to that arm. But the child, who has coarctation after the surgery, after the correction, they may have chronic hypertension and may need to get antihypertensive medication.